Welcome you guys to the awesome lectures of Mr. Yuma. In this lecture I will tell you guys a very important or better cool feature of the harmonic series. In the lectures before we showed that first of all the harmonic series diverges to infinity so uh, it doesn't matter that we add only very very small parts it will still go to infinity then we showed that if the harmonic series uh, is uh, diverging to infinity we also knew that there are infinitely many prime numbers this was a very very cool thing that we found out it was going back to Euler in this video we will look at another special feature okay i will just start off with this representation of the harmonic series okay i will start off by h1 we have one okay h2 is one plus one over two which will give you three over two h3 is one plus one half plus one over three which will give you what Okay, we know this is three half. So the first part. Sorry for my um, pen. It's it's uh, out of fuel, I think. One over three. So what do we get? We we have to multiply this by three and this by two. So we get eleven over six. Okay, let's do this for four also. So we have eleven over six plus one over four. What will happen is we have forty four. 24 plus 6 over 24 actually this is uh, 60 over 24 and this is 30 uh, 30 over 12 and this is 15 over 6 and this can be uh, minimized to if we divide by 3 5 over 2 now why did I write this down Okay, I'm, maybe I'm stupid in writing this down, but actually I'm not. I'm intending to show you something. If you look at the numbers, so we do not look at the first number, but the second, it's 3 over 2. This is 1 over 6, and this is 5 over 2. What is very important about this, if you would continue this, you would see a pattern in that. There are no integer numbers in this harmonic series. There seem to be no. You could go to millions and billions and trillions and uh, you could you, um, just spend all your life in calculating numbers and you would never find an integer number. But this is very interesting, isn't it? Isn't it? You calculate the sum and actually it's diverging to infinity so it will get infinitely large and still it will never have again integer values. Okay? And except this okay and now how does one prove this okay we want to look at this I'm writing this down 1 plus 1 over 2 1 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over um, I go 1 and I will get 6 and so forth the idea that I'm using is if you look at these numbers, they are never even, they are just odd. Okay, they are not even, it's 3, 11, 5. And this is the idea that we are using. Actually, if we, we add this to a number n, what will happen? What, what, what will happen here is I can actually look at this and this will give you a number okay if I take all together I I will get a denominator and actually I, I'll introduce here another part 1 over 2 K U okay I hope this doesn't or it does okay it, it hurts your eyes I know <laughs> okay just leave this out just leave this out sorry and what I do is I look at these numbers and look what is the highest power of 2 that I can, can find in these numbers um, smaller or equal to n. And I will call this number 2u and I multiply this with another number I call this big M which is an odd number. Okay. So if you go all through these steps and you will see there is the highest power of 2u times m in the denominator. And I will pick that number and look at what will happen is, okay? If I have the sum 
And this is the general denominator, okay? So if I uh, find the general, not the general denominator, but the denominator of all these things, I will have this number in between, okay? I will just make it here with, with points, points, points. And what will happen is, if you look at all the other numbers, here I have to, uh, because I don't have this 4 to the youth power, I will have to multiply here the numerator and denominator with 2 to the youth, okay? What will happen is that I have in the numerator an, an even number. And here I have to do it again, here again, here again, here again, here again, until I come to this number itself. What will happen then? I just need to multiply it with an odd number. Okay, but that's interesting because now we, we, we saw at all the other numbers in the numerator we had even numbers, okay? All were even, okay? If I add even numbers, I get again even numbers. But what is stopping us from uh, having an uh, integer number is that this shitty number, this little bastard, tends to have an odd number in the numerator. So this means if I take even numbers and add an odd number to this, I will get an odd number. But our numerator is even. Okay, what will happen is that we never can fully divide this fraction and this will never be a part of integer numbers for n greater than 1. Okay, I hope you understood my idea. So I looked for all the numbers and the, I looked especially for the number with the highest power of 2 to the u and it could also have an uneven part. But if you want to find the numerator, you will see that this doesn't need any 2u in the uh, numerator, uh, denominator, so you have to multiply it with an odd number. And that's it, okay? This concludes the lecture. Okay, I hope you, um, you had fun in this one. And please subscribe if you like, okay? See you guys in the next video. Uh, I will talk about estimating the harmonic series. And actually, this will be the last video about the harmonic series, okay? See you guys. Have a nice day.